Okay, we're in my messy workshop. We've just been building a battery box for the fish finder. So we found a muffin baking thing, about the right size for the battery. And uh, we've packed foam, high density foam down there to stop it slipping around. And we've wrapped all the excess coils here and on the inside of those coils we've got two squares of foam as well. So that it's a nice tight fit and it's not going to be crushing or pushing against there. There's room for the fuse down the side here nicely, so this whole unit could just stay in here all the time. When we're charging or traveling, we just unplug those, put the negative down here, positive down here so they don't connect. And what we did down here, I drilled a 11 millimeter hole to fit the power cable through. And then we used some thermal molded plastic, which I drilled six and a quarter millimeter, the size of the power cable. And we just folded that over and we'll seal that with marine glue and that'll just stop any water getting through that hole but just in case water still can beat down uh, the idea is the power cables like this so water will drip down towards that if it does go in it's going to hit those coils and drop down anyway it's not going anywhere and we'll probably just put a small hole to uh, let any moisture and things get out down the bottom so if it gets a bit of pulled water at the bottom, it really won't matter. But I'll only do that if we need to. We'll see how the lid works. So that's come out quite nicely. We'll go fit that, measure and check that it's all good. And get the length of the cable right. 